you know, we're both in our mid-2010s. I said to him, hey, we're both in our mid-2010s, but I'm female. I am supposed to be sexually peaking now. He said, oh, yeah, are you? I said, well, I don't know. He said, well, what's it supposed to feel like? I said, well, I'm supposed to feel exactly the way you felt when you were 18. He said, don't move. I'm going to put down newspapers. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it's nice dating when you're a little older because you appreciate everything you do for each other. The man's been eating his own cooking for 38 years. I don't cook very well. I made him dinner. He said, whoa, this is great. I said, is it? He said, it's hot. <laughs> we all want a good relationship. We're willing to try. We all want to give the other person what they want, don't we? Trouble is, what does anybody want? Who knows? What do women want? Women want someone who... Women want someone. <laughs> Just a person. <laughs> I know what men want. I know what men want. You guys tell me if I'm right, okay? Men want to be really, really, really close to someone who will leave them alone. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to fall in love. I didn't want to, and, and certainly I, I thought you fall in love for no reason. Someone has freckles or they say something cute, you're in love, right? I fell in love for a reason, a real reason, a goofy reason. I've known a lot of nice men in my life. I have no complaints. I, I've known men who've been nice enough to even pick up the garbage and take it outside when they saw it sitting out there. No small thing, as you know, but uh, <laughs> this is the first time in my entire life somebody actually put a new bag back into the can. <laughs> Do you know what it is to be running from the sink to the garbage with eggshells dripping up your elbows and coffee cards? Did you throw it out? Thank you very much. Cut me out, Jesus. <laughs> there I was, headed for the garbage, and I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think there's a bag in the can. Oh, man. He didn't know where they were. He had to look for him. He had to make an effort. He wasn't just sliding by. He planned ahead. He thought about me. There's a bag in the garbage can. Oh, The clouds broke, the sun came out in my own home, and I had a revelation after 20 years of dating. It was so clear, anybody can fuck. This guy put a bag in the garbage can. I said, there's a bag in the can. He said, yeah, well, I thought I'd do some chores and then we'd have sex later. I said, oh, we will. So much. He said, really? Really? What would you do to me if I lined the shelves with contact paper? <laughs> I better go get some newspapers. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. It's been great. It's been really great. Like, I'm finally, I'm like quasi-famous now. Nothing's really changed. I might get a free appetizer at select P.F. Chang's. That's about it. <laughs> Nothing's really changed. I was still using Tinder up until like a year ago. This is a true story. But now I realize I got a whole new set of issues on Tinder. Like, like now when I do match with a girl, she doesn't believe that it's me. Like, ugh, that's not you. That's not, you're not that guy from this thing and that thing. I'm like, who the fuck is using me as a fake profile? <laughs> You gotta dig real deep to use me, man. I feel like there's so many better choices out there. One time, one time my agent told me that I had a good look, and I'm like, thanks, dude, I appreciate that. But then it took me years to realize that having a good look is totally different than being good looking. <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck it means. And look, I'm not being self-deprecating, okay? That's Hollywood talk. I don't, I don't listen to that shit. I understand that in real life, I'm like super good looking. <laughs> if you're into anime. <laughs> you gotta get in where you fit in, people. 
One time I went over to the girl's house. She, she has this like Naruto anime poster in her bedroom. I knew I was fucking that night. <laughs> you gotta know your demo, people. Asian people, we don't need Tinder anymore. We just go to BTS concerts. That's how we do that parking lot pipping. I've been dating a lot of tall girls lately because it makes me look successful. No, no. I, I think tall women are beautiful, but some of them like to wear heels. That's just disrespect. I'm like, you're already five inches taller than me. Why the fuck are you wearing heels? And she's like, it makes my ass look better. I'm like, your ass is on my eye level right now. Neither of us look good, okay? I look like a child, and you look like a child molester. <laughs> last time, last time I took a tall girl to this concert. I don't know if you guys know this, but apparently tall people have fun at concerts. <laughs> Are you guys aware of that? I'm 5'5", five five. I just go to concerts to smell other people's armpits. <laughs> like, what the fuck's the point of this? She was having a time in her life doing whatever tall people do at concerts, you know? Jumping around, obstructing other people's views, <laughs> seeing everything. I was frustrated, I had enough. So I just looked up at her, I was like, hey, pick me up. 